dealing with it once we have all our ducks in a row. As uh, I want to steal a minute and deal with the issues which uh, I think you are you were directing to that day that actually owned uh, foreign nationals. I have no problem with police keeping mum about the nationality of the offenders. But I think that sometimes we are too shy to say to people who cross the borders legally and illegally, who reside amongst us, who do not respect our laws, traditions and cultures, that we are fed up. That does not turn us into people who are, uh, what is this, xenophobic. I make an example which sounds like nothing. When I entered Tanzania in 1976, I was wearing a miniskirt and a miniskirt was outlawed in Tanzania. I could not leave the airport facilities until the ANC had found me a kanga to wear to respect the laws of the country. And in every country I have been, and in every country I continue to be, I make sure that I am on the right side of the laws. And that is all we are saying. The truth of the matter is that most of the syndicates are not run by South Africans. And we are too ashamed to say that in Tatekel. What is happening in Orkney and Pochustru, we need to give a, a, a little closer look at because it is syndicates who sometimes deal with matters which take away even the water supplies which is supposed to be rooted to people. And then we blame the municipality. So we need to say, come stay with us. Yes, if you are legal. If you are not legal, please approach us for help. If you are in trouble, we will see how we help you. If we have to deport you, we will also not be apologetic about deporting you. But please respect us. Thank you, Mr. Girl.